And so our first game of the evening is going to be Blue Fire, the demo. And again, Blue Fire is due to come out uh, tentatively next year. It will be available on PC. Um, because this game is still in development, um, we are just playing a demo of it. Um, again, I would like to say and say thank you to the developers and Robbie Studios for providing me with a free copy of the demo. Music's really good in this. I do love the music in this thus far. And okay, so you can use gamepad or a controller, I mean, or a keyboard. I'm going to do gamepad with this. Let us select. Use vertical attacks to keep you in the air during combat. And again, because this is a demo, we'll try to get through at least one of the levels before we move to our next game for the evening. Looks really good though. Graphically, this is beautiful. I'm really liking the visuals in this. And ironically, I have been following Blue Fire um, through one of the groups that I'm in on Facebook. So. Okay, can I just say that this character is adorable? I'm gonna go out here and say this character is totally adorable. What's in here? Inspect Apollo Corpse. Yay! I like when you can break things. Okay, I was gonna say I kind of disappeared there for a moment. I have a feeling we're gonna need these these ores. Inspect. Dangerous. Do not touch. Right. Will not touch that. Grab that. Okay, to move the camera. It is. It's really cute. I love the way this little character looks, too. So it doesn't give me, like, 14. Alright. Press A to jump and hold A to jump higher. Okay. Okay, nothing with that. Oh. Well, don't touch the... Walls apparently. Restore. Oh, okay. <laughs> he waved. That's cute. Okay, so you just tap it now. Open. Yeah, so far, graphically, I am loving this. It does. They do. Indie games do do cute so much better. <laughs> see what's going on here. Yeah, because it can wave. It's so cute. Look at that. It's so cute. Okay, it's that Traveler of the Land. When facing evil, do not under miss, underestimate the power of emoting. Would you like to learn a new... I don't have enough ore for that. <laughs> Don't have enough ore. <laughs> Wait, what? Whatever? He just caught on stream elements. Whatever with stream elements. Ah. Uh, oh, and so here is tonight's discussion question. As you know, I do put a chat discussion question. And tonight's question, and feel free to answer in chat. If you could spend the day in one store, what would it be and why? So feel free to answer that question there. I think for me it would be Micro Center. I've actually spent almost an entire day in Micro Center, so. <laughs> and mainly because I just love electronic stores, to be honestly truthful. Oh, stop hitting him. I'm sorry. Bit oven. Or bit 
That's so cute. It's a play on Beethoven. Oh, yes. The Lego store. Okay. Greetings, traveler. My name is Beethoven. <laughs> That's so cute. I'm only but a humble flute player. Oh. Gazing upon this incredible view. Hello, Drake got a dude. Welcome to the show. The wind on my skin, the light in the distance. Amazing. Do you really believe? Oh, goodness. That long ago, people actually lived out there? Pretty sure we're not going down that way, though. We're going to go back the other way. You know, ironically, we used to have this really, really gor gorgeous, um, I don't have a key. We used to have this really, really gorgeous um, Barnes and Nobles. Or Barnes and, yeah, Barnes and Noble. <laughs> I said Nobles, but Noble. Um, okay, so RT to dash. Oh. son, he actually enjoys reading a lot. And so, um, I used to take him there, like, every week for him to get books. And then they closed it down and turned it into a B-dubs. Nice. So, one thing I can say, too, about the, um, controls a bit, they're a little too loose. For me, they're a little too loose, but they're not bad, just a little loose. Like, I'd like to have more control. I would like, I guess a stiffer control. Uh, well, this can't be promising. Stop waving! Oh, the graphics in this is really gorgeous, though. Graphically, this is beautiful. I think we want to go in there yet. I think we've already been here in spec. Alchemist. Okay, because that's probably um, parts of the game that hasn't been completely done yet. So, but so far, yeah, this is a gorgeous game. I think we already been this way though, but it doesn't hurt if if we can get more ore. You know, why not? One of the things, too, I liked, I saw, that I do like, you don't lose your ore off the bat. And, um, like I said, this is just a demo. Uh, so, you know, depending on how the developers are going to take this, um, if they're going to add multiple modes, I would actually as crazy as it sounds, I would actually prefer to be punished for dying, you know, so losing half of your ore or your ore. Oh, 
Stop waving! Also, I don't particularly like the, um, I also will say that I don't particularly like the way that they, um, have you heal. Like, in order to heal, you have to, um, because there was an emote back here. I wonder, do we need to get this emote? Um, you know, I would like, I personally, like I said, for me, I personally, um, yes. Okay. I would like the punishment of, oh, if you, um, you die, you lose, you know, you lose some of your core. Aha, uh -huh, I think we went that way. No, we went this way last time. Let's see what's this way. Because we went the other way the last time. Okay, so nothing. Can't activate that, so we have to go this way. All right, and I know this is going to send us into a big room. And we have these two baddies we need to fight. out of this chest here. Oh, okay, an old key. Can we use oh we can go back and open that door back at the beginning now. Grab those or yeah I got them. Nice. Held it. I have to remember where it was now. The game is gorgeous, though. I don't think we can open this. No activate yet. And I think the room that I'm looking for is back this way, so. I think it was like back at the beginning. Like, you can't go here. You have to have a key. Is this the key? No, oh, this is it. Unlock it. Yes. We're going to unlock this door and see what's in here. Just the door was closing. What's over here? I don't know. Something tells me. Because, like I said, this is pretty adorable, though. of light and shuttle for a very long time I have been waiting for you my name is Vaughn I am the last of the fire guardians 
The only survivor of the Fire Keep raid. Hmm. For centuries, I have carried out what seemed to be a senseless task. In the name of the Guard, I have protected this abandoned keep. I have protected a hopeless faith. But now, you're here. Prenumbra awaits your blade, warrior. Time is slipping through our hands as we speak. Okay. Oh. That glowing stone behind you. That is a void entrance. Throughout your journey, you will come upon many void entrances. Hmm. These gates are links to a forgotten realm oh, okay. known as the Void. It is where our ancestors train. You must seek as many void entrances as you can. Though through them embrace the void and seek our ancestors' power. Only through this will you be able to prove your worth and claim the secret power of the guards. Warrior of light and shadow, when the time comes, we shall meet again. Okay, yeah. Right on. Uh, do I want to go? Yeah, let's enter the void. We'll go up in here. You know, why not? Be careful with that little buddy. Avoid so. Like I said, graphically, this game is gorgeous, though. For me, I would just like, again, for the controls to be a little more snappy. And because this is a demo, you can't, um, you know, control that just yet, so. Claim. Saving the game. And welcome in the imprint to the stream. Okay, so that, that that door opened. But there was a door back here. I kinda wanna see what's going on with this door back here though. Before we go in that door. I don't have enough for it, but we know now what's over here. It's a emote statue so we know that's over there oh look i got five um hearts i just noticed that and again there is the question for tonight if you could spend the day in one store what store would it be and why as i stated before i would probably do like micro center because i love um electronic stores Ah. Open. Sapphire ore. Nice. Well, that does not do it. Oh, I almost fell. 
hell, little guy? Whoa, there, little guy. Who has no name yet, as far as I know. Let's call him that, that guy. What's this? Can't carry any more fire essence. Got you. Or, what did he call him? The, the warrior of light and shadow. Let's call him. I'll call him light. We'll call him light. Light shadow. Let's call him light shadow. I like that. Oh. Smells like a boss fight. Or no, I need to get up there, huh? So there is things for controllers. Okay, but it doesn't allow for you to kind of... It doesn't allow for you to do what I would have liked to done. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Bookstore. Because ironically, I actually used to love going into uh, bookstores myself. Um, now, this might be me telling my age, but, like, my favorite was Borders back in the day. Like, I absolutely loved Borders bookstores. Mainly because I read a lot of manga. And they always had it, um... Well, manga, manga, I guess, depends on how you pronounce it. I pronounce it as manga. And I used to read a lot of it when I was younger. And so they always had, it like, better sales than Barnes & Noble and then Walden Books and Borders. Um, ah, yes. It was weird because I was, like, in certain malls here, there would either be Borders or... Um, there would be, um, if I didn't attack this, and that opens it, yep. Or there would be Walden books. Like, I actually, it was weird, because, like, oh, I get it now. It seems like a timed event. Pretty confident this is a timed event. Okay, it's a timed event, so I have to... Wow. Because, like, now here, we also have Books of Million, or BAM. So we do have BAM here, but I don't think BAM really took off as well as they had hoped. Because there's literally only a couple of stores. We know this is a timed event. So we're gonna cut that out. Made it. Nailed it. Let's see what's over here. Cut that. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, ironically, um, there, uh, where I used to live before I moved, um, in, uh, with my sister, I mean, there's not one that's too far from us that's a used bookstore, but, uh, back in the day, we lived right around the corner from a used bookstore, and I absolutely loved it, because you could find things that you normally, uh, wouldn't find in other stores, 
And if they, if you couldn't find it, they would actually order it for you. So that was always cool. Greetings, traveler. Awaken the yes, we will. The fire shrine. Assuming this kind of serves like our bonfire of sorts. I just really think this character is really adorable. Can't believe I almost fell. Then another thing that I would like for them to change um, is the healing in this. It's a little, for me, a little confusing because they want you to actually push in the directional pad. Uh, maybe not push in the directional pad, but maybe make it like down or something to that effect. But not push in the whole directional pad. It's a little awkward for me. But Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure if I rest, it will give us health back, but... Oh, yeah. oh why did you do that? <gasps> I didn't realize that we were gonna die. Okay, so hopefully... Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go back and rest now. I need to heal. I go... And like I said, for me to, um, I think I had the 84. Um, or, so for me, when you take damage like that or you completely die, I would like to see like either, um, you don't necessarily have to lose all of your ore, but some type of penalty, I think would be pretty, you know, cool for that. Cause I mean, you know, the fun in these types of games is that I already go this way. Looks like I did. Because the fun in these types of games are supposed to be, um, you know, the punishment in them. Let's see what's over here. That's the way we came in. Yeah. Okay, I'm a little discombobulated. I don't know if we can get in that door. No, I think that's the door we tried to jump for and I died. So maybe go this way. There's a chest over here, if anything. An emerald ore. Feel it does. I was gonna say, for me, it reminds me of Warframe. Doors blocked. So these are probably like all levels that they're plan on working on. Weapon storage, the door is blocked. So, like I've been saying, this is Blue Fire, and um, it's currently being developed. And um, it's due to come out next year on PC, tentatively. Um, and it, like I said, this has been a game that I've been following on Facebook for a while. So, okay, well, maybe we can go this way or that away but I'm gonna go this way Let's see what's up here okay we 
there's another one of our statue buddies, but we don't have enough. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. See what's over here, I guess. Jump and dash, okay. Ah, uh, so I gotta go back the other way and open up the other one, okay. That makes sense now. quiet big epic doors sounds like a boss fight no light shadow again I have no idea what this character's name is I'm calling him light shadow though <laughs> But so far, I can say I'm really enjoying the game, even though this is just a demo. Because, <laughs> you know, he was like, you're the warrior of light and shadows. I'm called Light Shadow. So, we ended the first demo. And I would play the second part, but I think I'll we'll leave it there at the first demo there. I wanted more, <laughs> like I did, I wanted more, and I couldn't start, but I do have another game to play, but yeah, so far, like I said, this game is gorgeous, and I absolutely love it, like from what I've played so far, um, like I said, for me, you know, again, just, I mean, legit, I like it so much, I'm actually kind of getting goosebumps, um, but for me, um, one of the things, um, that I liked about it, definitely the graphics, the music was great, some of the things that could, um, be changed, like I said, um, the controller, or the gamepad for me was a little loose, so I would like a way to kind of, um, be able to adjust it to make it a little more stiff, because I tend to like to play, uh, with a stiff controller when I play these types of games, um, and then another thing is with the ore, uh, for me, like I said, you don't have to necessarily lose all of your ore, but if you make a big mistake, I would like to kind of see the ore cut in half as kind of like a punishment, because it seems like that's what this game kind of goes for. It's like, you know, it's a really cute, adorable um, little game, and I really did enjoy what I did play of this demo, and um, you know, like I said, and this was just to more so give a taste of Blue Fire, but overall, uh, yeah, I I loved it. It was a great game so far. Um, but again, if you like what you saw of Blue Fire this evening, if you hit exclamation point G-O-T-W, that's going to bring up a list of all the games I am playing tonight and have played. And where you can get those games from, the platforms, and how much they cost. Blue Fire will be releasing tentatively next year. 
and you can wish list this on Steam right now. So um, I would say definitely go ahead and wish list it um, if you like what you saw. I know for me, I will add it to the wish list as well because if you don't know, um, when you add games to your wish list, it actually helps the developer to get seen more. So the more times you can add to, if you can add a game to your wish list without, you know, by all means do so because it does help with the um, algorithm and stuff so but this is blue fire and again thanks to robbie studios for providing me with the free key of this demo as i said i think um as i said before fantastic game i am definitely without a doubt looking forward to when this game comes out because it, it, it's that fun, and I really enjoyed it. And like I said, I could have started up the second demo, but, you know, well, I just wanted to give you all a taste <laughs> of the game mainly. So, uh, but yeah, so that is Blue Fire. And again, tentatively next year in 2021 for PC on Steam.